Uh, welcome along to Added Time. Uh, it's finished here. Watford won, Chelsea 2. A dramatic end to that game. Uh, so there was only one person really we wanted to get post-match reaction from, and that was you, Ben. Uh, Derek Payne also with us. Um, let me throw this stat at you. That chance at the end means you've got as many shots on target this season as Divock Origi and Paul Pogba. Oh, wow. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wow. Um, take, take us through it. From where we were, I thought it was in, but obviously you were right there in the moment. So what happened? First of all, I think I deserve their wages then. I should be on the same sort of wages as them. Paul, I'll take Paul's wages. Bloody hell. Um, no, fair play to, to Kepa. That was some save at the end. Um, you know, I think from our point of view, it's disappointing again. We've, you know, we've got, we had to, I thought we almost waited till we got to 2 0 until we actually started to get going. Um, having said that, once we did get going, it was, you know, that's what we're about. We, that's what we can do. But like I say, we can't wait to be in that position until we, till we actually start putting a shift in. Yeah, it's frustrating, isn't it? I imagine when you plan all week tactically. You get out there within four minutes, you're a goal down. Yeah, you know, um, it really, it does. It completely throws everything out the window. Um, fair play to them. You know, it was a great goal. The ball, the ball into Tammy Abraham was wow. It was world class. You know, caught us all by surprise. And even the finish, it was a good finish. You know, I'm bearing down on him, hoping to put him off. And no, it was a, a really good finish. But like I say, very disappointing. Um, and you know, they're a good team. They they created a lot of chances, and they're going to create a lot of chances. Mm. And um, I think we can, you know, we can take something from the game at least that we hung in there. And um, you, you know. They're They've beaten many teams that are in much better positions than us. Five, six, got nil already this season. So, yeah. um, you know, positives at least. Ben, can I ask you something about the the lineup tonight? Um, obviously, you went with Delafeo, Perea, and Gray. Was there any talk about how how that was going to work? You know, obviously with the talent that Chelsea got, the way they pass through the lines. Obviously, did it leave you a little bit outnumbered? You know, defensively, or was it a more of a plan that they had to drop in and help? Yeah, that was that was the plan a little bit. Um, Andre obviously up top by himself almost. Um, you know, it was tough for Andre tonight because he's you know he's got some big lads with behind him. You know, and if you're playing balls into him, it's difficult. Um, and like you say, like we had you know Delafeo and, and Maxi sort of either side of him, sort of trying to offer a little bit of an attacking threat. But in the same token, you know they they know their job is to sort of defend and and sort of try and break up those lines of, of passing that they're very good at doing. Um, and it was difficult. And I think we we you know it, it showed really at times they were passing it through those lines really easy and you know opening us up a little bit and um, you know I think sometimes though you've got to you've got to sort of throw a little bit of caution to the wind you've got to give it a go you can't just say right we're going to sit in and and let these teams sort of dominate mm -hmm. us and dictate us to us and, and do what they want to do um, but like I say having said that we've seen them <laughs> sort of beat beat some teams five six nil yeah. and like I say when they when they get going and they get ahead of steam they're a, they're a very good team the thing is as well is um, them games ain't going to define your season are they and no. now we're moving into the next three fixtures I'm sure you and all the players, are you looking at them and thinking, you know, this is where we've got to get points. You know, we've got to try and win these games or at least, you know, not get defeated. You know, we're talking about who we've got coming up now. We've got Norwich, Burnley, Burnley Southampton. And yeah. Southampton. Yeah. Um, yeah, exactly. Like yeah, exactly. That's it. They, these are the bread and butter games. Yeah. Um, like you say, we can't, we can't judge our season off of the likes of Chelsea's and... Arsenal's and Manu's and them sort of teams. That's that's not what we're about, you know. If we get anything from them, it's you've, you've almost got to look at it as a bonus point. Yeah. But the, the the teams around us, them sort of teams that you mentioned there, they're the ones we need to be beaten. And you know, we're at the, the moment, like I say, we're at the bottom of the league, and, and there's you know, there's no hiding from that. There's you know, you are where you are. There's no, you can't mm -hmm. sit back and say we've been unlucky, we've been this and that. And, um, like I said, the big three games coming up, and I think if we can, you know, take seven, nine points from them yeah. three, then um, yeah, we're, we're back on track. There's clearly a lot of fight and determination in, in this team. We saw it tonight, we saw it in the game against Arsenal, we've seen it throughout the season. Um, with that though, there has to be a certain level of confidence to it if we are going to go into these next three key games and, and get anything out of them. Do you feel in that dressing room that confidence is there? Yeah, I think that's been the problem most of the season is is kind of a, a little bit of a dip in, in confidence. Um, I'd say the last sort of two, three games it started to... to to see that we can, you know, we've got it back a little bit. I think just having a bit more of a, a steady sort of defensive line when, when you know that you're not going to concede a lot of goals, that's a, that's a building block. That's where you can go from. And we've shown that, like I say, in the last sort of few games, that we, we are very solid defensively. You know, some of the some of the lads that have been playing in that back three have really stood up to the plate. And, you know, Cavasaley, Dawson, Craig, Kafka, like really, you know, they're the kind of guys you need in, in these sort of moments. Um, so, you know, we can, we can, like I say, build from that. We can know that we're a little bit more, more steady behind 
behind us. And then I'd like to think we have got those players to unlock teams. You know, yeah. the likes of Gerard and you know Maxi, people like that, really technically gifted players. Um, we just need a, we just need a goal, something like that, to get us going. And um, even I just think you know scoring first, scoring first, is so important. Yeah. You know, if you let in the first goal, like it does. Yeah. It just massively knocks you all out of kilter. So I think just getting off to good starts against the, the teams that we're coming up in the next three games is, is hugely important. With the tactics, though, I mean, Derek, you kind of touched on it, the way we, we set up this evening. When we spoke to Cabo last week after the game, and you touched on it there yourself, we've certainly stopped the rot, certainly to, to an extent, defensively, but it is just about finding that balance now at the going forward. Yeah, um, like I said, I think that's a, that's a confidence thing. That's all it is. We've, we know what these players can do, the likes of Andre Gray and Gerard and Maxi. They're, they're very technically gifted players. They can mm -hmm. score absolutely world-class goals. We've seen it. I see it in training all the time. We just need to transmit that to the pitch. I think it's almost become a bit of a stigma at the minute where you know attacking wise we're just sort of it's almost like we're tensing up in front of goal and it's not so free and like natural with, with that be. mentality though you've got to now go to Norwich and somehow find a way to shake that off don't you you do it's difficult you know Norwich are a good team themselves you know there's no I think this <laughs> this yeah, league now right is now there's no way you go into any Premier League team yeah, nowadays and, and turning them over easily it's not that simple anymore um, I don't care who you are you've got to work and you've got to earn it um, and like I say if we, if we can get off to a good start in, in the Norwich game particularly the next game coming up um, and then build on that that's that's the most important thing it could be one of them couldn't it it could be one of them where you need one to just go in off off anyone like a deflection yeah. bounces down you get the lead yeah, and then yeah. and Jen just hold on to it obviously against Chelsea it's not going to be easy against the top four top five but hopefully we can go into Norwich and like we said try and get that win and it can just turn that quickly can't it Ben it yeah, can just turn the season we, we, first VAR thing I think that's gone in our favour all season yeah. <laughs> I want to get your thoughts on that because <laughs> yeah, exactly. obviously from I'm our perspective on it, it went on fan. forever up here but yeah. when you're a player on the pitch where, especially when you're in the goal what's going through your head oh yeah again I'm not a fan um, you know everybody's got their opinions on it and fair play everybody's allowed their opinions for me personally I'm, I'm not a fan I think it just takes away that that little bit of um, you know, when you score a goal, if uh, if the linesman doesn't put his flag up, it's a goal, and everyone runs away, and it, that's the beauty of football. I love it. That's awesome, um, and I think it just spoils that, and it's it just takes too long at times. And um, but you know, I'm sure they've got their reasons. Mm. But yeah, it was nice to actually get one tonight. So I honestly, I'm not. Yeah. I think that's that's the first maybe one we've had going our favour this yeah. season. You see the one against Tottenham a few weeks ago for Gerard, and wow, if that was a penalty tonight, that was a double penalty. So you know, just to wrap things up, then uh, listen. You're not deaf, your players on the pitch. I'm sure you heard at moments throughout the game that the fans weren't necessarily happy, perhaps, with some of the things that were going on on the pitch. What is your message to the fans going into this pretty critical period now, starting with Norwich away? Yeah, just just keep the faith. You've got to. I think, it was, like I say, there were times where, um, you know, you could, you could sense the discontent. They weren't too happy at certain things. But then at other times, when we got going and we really got ahead of steam, the, the, the shouting in the crowd, they really sort of help. They do. They get behind you so much and it helps so much. Um, it, I think it has an effect on the opposition team, but it definitely has an effect on us. And it's, it's so important that they stick together with us. We're sticking together. We'll stick with them. Um, and, and just keep coming and keep you know, cheering and all that kind of stuff because it will turn. There's no way it can't turn because we're way too good to, to, to keep it going like this. Well, there we are. Those of you that are travelling to Carrow Road, you know how much it means to the players uh, to hear that you're getting behind them. Um, ben, listen, we'll let you go because I know everyone's wanted to speak to you this evening. You've done all the Sky, BBC and everything, haven't you? But that's what happens when you nearly score uh, a 94th minute equaliser I would have retired as well that's me done well, thank I, god I it didn't go in that. I couldn't have topped <laughs> it that's been my life's ambition ever since I got scored past all them years ago <laughs> all right well cheers Ben for your time uh, Derek thanks, thank thanks you as always yeah, um, look out for more reaction uh, from tonight's game on our social media channels and we will be back with you for more added time after that big game at Caro Road next Friday night I know this video was good so if you like this, you'll definitely like this one.